Okay, good day. So, our topic for today will be the last part ng inyong air conditioning design. So, i-integrate ko lahat dun sa inyong uh, air conditioning unit. Yung number one, yung refrigeration system. Number two, yung meron tayong reheating. Tapos yung nakaraan, pinag-usapan natin, meron tayong uh, all air handled is thrown out of the system. Walang recirculation. But this time, uh, lalagdagan ko ng recirculating pa. And then, after recirculation, idadagdag natin itong cooling tower. So, let me first discuss what is a cooling tower. So, a cooling tower, part yan ng inyong ano eh, air conditioning system. So, in buildings, air conditioning systems need a common device that is used to cool the condenser water. Hindi naman parating yung condenser mo. Like yung mga nakikita nyo, yung mga wall type, window type na air conditioning units. So, they have condensers. Yung condenser na yun, air-cooled lang. Dahil kaya naman ang capacity ng air to cool yung init na nagmumula dun sa inyong condenser. But, when we are talking about big capacities, air conditioning systems. Kapag malalaking air conditioning systems, you need a fluid system na kung saan take away niya yung much of the heat that is produced inside the condenser water, inside your condenser. Hindi naman parating air na lang ang gagamitin mo. Okay? So, you need a cooling tower in big units, in situations na kung saan yung air mo is hindi ganun kaganda, kalamig. Now, what is a cooling tower? A cooling tower is a device commonly used to cool condenser water in power and refrigerating plants. Commonly, sa inyong ano, sa inyong mga sasakyan, diba, yung radiator system nyo is a type of a cooling tower. That is an air-cooled type cooling tower kung saan yung heat exchange niya, a heat exchanger. Gumagamit ka ng fluid to take away much of the heat that is produced inside the engine. And then, ang gagawin nun, Pagdaan sa inyong condenser, meron niya mga fins kung saan palalamigin siya. Pero, yung tubig na dumaan dun sa inyong condenser, ibibreak down siya into atomized form. Paano mo sinabi atomized form, sir? In tiny droplets ng water, ba diba? sa mga veins ng inyong uh, radiator, magpa-pass through yung water na yun. And then, dahil break down mo siya into smaller quantities when air is passed through that system yung air will take away the heat that is contained inside the water oh nagkaroon siya ng heat exchange ngayon now the heat carried by the cooling water will be absorbed or carried by the air that passes through the cooling tower dalawang uri ng cooling tower natin isang induced isang forced draft okay I-discuss na lang sa inyo yan pagdating nyo ng industrial plant. But, to give you much of the knowledge and idea tungkol dun sa dalawang yon a forced draft, ibig sabihin nyo, in, uh, you forced air inside the system ng cooling tower. Maglalagay ka sa inlet mo ng fans para introduce mo yung cold air. Now, yung induced type, it is a passive type kung saan pressure difference lang ang nagkikerry out ng movement ng cool air. Now, simply, we put it this way. The heat rejected by the cooling water is the heat that will be absorbed by the cooling air. Now, yung cooling water mo kasi, that is the water that is supplied inside your condenser. Now, papakita ko sa inyo sa diagram. Ha? Now, the condenser water or the cooling water is the re receiver of the heat that is rejected inside the condenser unit. Kung saan nagkakaroon ka ng heat exchange ng refrigerant and the cooling water. Now, pagdating ng inyong cooling tower, yung refrigerant mo hindi nakasama. Ano na lang, yung cooling water mo inside your condenser or the condenser water will have a cooling exchange pagdating ng cooling tower. Anong gagamitin natin? Sir, yung air. Kasi yung water natin, it is break down, it is broken down into sprays. Okay? Ngayon, mas maliit na quantities of droplet na meron ka, di ba? Pag mas maliit ang volume ng inyong water, ang nangyayari is mas mabilis siyang mag-loose and give off ng heat. Yan. Kasi mas mabigat na water, 
tandaan nyo, sa mass balancing, yung air na introduce mo, dapat the same amount and quantity ng flow rate ang meron ka dun sa water to take away much of the heat that is supplied inside your condenser. Now, if the same circulating water is needed for the system, the water must remain at its original temperature before going back to the condenser unit. Kailangan malamig na siya. Kundi, yung system mo ng refrigeration system, hindi siya ganun kaganda ang cooling effect. In order to decrease its temperature, the heat it carries must be removed. This is what the cooling tower does. Now, this is the diagram for your cooling tower. Now, this type is an induced type. Okay, hindi siya forced draft. Bakit? Yung induced, induced type, ang nag-create lang ng negative pressure dyan or suction pressure is the fan that is located at the top of your cooling tower. Now, on our school, meron tayong cooling tower units dyan. Meron tayong induced and forced draft. Commonly, ang ginagamit natin at top, top of the buildings is an induced type of cooling tower. Yung force drop kapag indoor cooling tower. Mas magandang gamitin yun. Now, you have different points here. Okay. At one, cool air is introduced inside cooling tower. Ngayon, yung heat exchange nila, kung yung spray ng water mo is pababa, okay natin, pababa yung spray of water mo, may kita mo dyan, yung cool air mo naman, papaakyat yan. Okay? Paakyat ng system mo yung cold air. Ngayon, kapag nag-meet up sila sa gitna, yung air mo na malamig at yung spray of water that contains hot particles, hot water na yan eh, magkakaroon sila ng heat exchange, magkakaroon ng equilibrium. Now, your cool air will become warm air that will be thrown out of the system. Yung cool air mo, that is ambient condition. This one, imi-measure natin siya using psychrometrics. Sir, ano ibig mo sabihin dyan? You get the wet bulb and the dry bulb by using psychrometer. Now, kapag malamig na siya, that water will go to your condenser as cold water. Meron ka ditong T-low temperature. And then, it is introduced the system at point 3 as warm water coming from the condenser. That absorb the heat, much of the heat, coming from your refrigerant. And this is T-hot. Okay, ganun lang yung process niya. Now, from the figure above, as you can see, warm water that comes from the condenser enters the cooling tower at point 3. Okay. Much of that, It is then sprayed using sprinkler system to break down the particles of the water. Now, to produce droplets of water, those droplets of water will produce larger surface area to release heat. Commonly, meron yung mga fins dito. Kaya nakita nyo pa zigzag-zigzag yan. Now, as the, water, uh, as the water passes through those fins, the cooling air that passes through the crevices of that fins, of those fins, will take away much of the heat that is contained into the spray of the water. Now, water droplets fall down through the cooling fins where exchanging of heat and air occurs. Cold water exits the cooling tower at point 4. Ayan, gigive off niya yan, gugamitin naman sa condenser. Now, due to evaporation, kailangan mo na parating i-maintain yung water basin mo. Ang tawag dito is water basin. From time to time, it should be monitored in order for you to maintain the normal operating level of the water. Now, what happens when that water became at lower, no, lower than the normal conditions? Then, papasok yung ating makeup water. What does your makeup water do? Your makeup water do, it simply is the supply of water that is conditioned para wala siyang bacterial contaminants and yung makeup water na yun, it will maintain the normal level of your water. Sir, natural yan sa makeup water. Meron din yang tanke. Yes. Yung tanke na yun, meron kang pump na kung saan magtitrigger lamang siya kapag bumaba na at normal level yung 
may, yung iyong water basin. Now, going back. Air enters at point 1, dito, as cold air, through the screen. This screen is used to filter out solid particles that could get inside your cooling tower and then create destruction to the moving parts. Now, the screen is provided to avoid other living organisms. Meron din yung filter. Like what? May mga salmonella, may mga birds. To enter the device, kasi mahal ang cooling tower. It costs million to design, build, and service. Just one cooling tower. Air goes up and passes through the fins where it absorbs the heat, the water droplets. From the water droplets, the fan draws out the hot and humid air at point 2 to the atmosphere. Now, kaya kailangan natin ng psychrometrics dyan in order for us to measure the wet bulb and dry bulb conditions of that warm air. Dyan mo kasi, may measure po yung effectiveness of your cooling tower. Let me show you later. Now, the type of the fan is called induced drop fan. Now, bakit? Nasa taas kasi siya. Ang palatandaan dyan, nasa taas. The fan, where it sucks air, then discharges it. So, negative pressure, vacuum pressure ang ginagamit. While the other type is force drop, where the fan is installed at the bottom, dito sa taas, sa baba. Kung saan, at the introduction of the cold air, nilalagyan mo ng fan. Or anyway, where it pushes the air out of the cooling tower. Now, we go to the wake-up water. The makeup water is provided in every cooling tower. This is done to compensate for water loss due to evaporation. Pag nasa taas ng building, hindi maiwasan na ang yung cooling tower is mag-evaporate ang water. Number one yon. Paano naman yung mga blowdown losses? Yung ano pa, windage losses. Yan, pag-uusapan natin yan pagdating ng inyong industrial plant. Uh, ideally, the mass of water leaving the cooling tower is less than compared to the amount that the, of the water that enters. Kasi makeup water, nagtitrigger lang naman yan eh, kapag kulang na talaga sa normal level. With each pass through the system, some water vaporized. So, some makeup water is necessary kasi matutuyuan yan. But where did those little amount of water goes to? Because of the sprinkler that produces water droplets, sobrang lilit ng droplets na yon bago pa sila umabot sa baba, nag evaporate na. The cooling air undergoes heating and humidifying process from point 1 to 2 because of the heat that is received. So that is heating process and the amount of water vapor that is added to it is humidified. Now, we talk about the usual formula and equation. Ah, uh, ano lang naman yan, tatatlo lang naman yan. Eh. So the range, the range is the reduction in temperature of water through the cooling tower. Or simply the difference between the hot and cold temperature of the cooling tower. Now, pinag-uusapan mo dito, yung water leaving and entering the cooling tower. Yung water that is entering, that is T high for condenser. Pareho to. And then T low, the water leaving the cooling tower. Now, we talk about the approach or A. The difference between the temperature of the leaving cool water and then the wet bulb temperature of the air. So, T4 and D Wait, bulb temperature of the air entering. For cooling tower efficiency, it is simply given by the formula R over R plus A. Or, simply, sinimplify na natin dito, E is equal to T hat minus T low over T hat minus yung wet bulb temperature at 0.1. Ayan na yung ating cooling tower efficiency. Wala na pong ibang itatanong dyan, kundi yan lang. For makeup water requirement, now, it is the amount of water needed for the lost amount of water due to evaporation. So, ito yan, meron ka mass of water that is entering the cooling tower and then the mass of water leaving the cooling tower. Oh, ngayon, di ba, sinolve natin. Pwede mo nang gamitin dito sa use, use ng ating ano, mass of water vapor entering and then mass of water vapor leaving the tower. So, magkakaroon ka ng material balance. After material balance, you will arrive with this formula. So, M5 is the mass of water that is, or the makeup water requirement. Yan yun, yung M5. So, SH2 and SH1, makukuha mo ito sa conditions at 
entering and leaving yung air to, air properties. Yan, air properties po yan. So, that is, pwede rin ito. So, ito lang ang ginagamit niyang kadalasan. Ito, madalang gamitin to. Pero pwede mong gamitin. Kasi, makukuha mo naman to. Ito, yung property of water, makuha mo sa steam tables. Itong dalawa. Ito, pwede rin mo makuha sa steam tables or psycho chart. So, para mas maliwanagan tayo, let us talk about the problem na meron tayo ngayon. Para mas maintindihan natin siya. All in one. So, this is the diagram that I made you. You have here a refrigeration system. Meron ka ditong cooling tower. Meron ka ditong make-up water. Supply. Ito yung make-up water pump. Tapos ito yung fan 1, fan 2, this is uh, room 1, condition space 1, CS 1, ito yung condition space 2, this is the reheater. This is the conditioner. This is the condenser. So, this is the entire system. May kulang pa dyan. So, sir, ano po ang kulang dito? Ang kulang dito is the recirculating. Okay? Let me just first uh, have a break and then let me prepare the problem for you. Hold your steam tables and we will answer this problem. Okay? That will be all.